Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Great pleasure this week to shine the light on Navy men's tennis. And more importantly, we get to do it with a local product. Always good to shine the light on one of the local guys, and that's Finn Garner out of Broadneck High School. And Finn, just for you and your teammates, the opportunity to compete and be able to nail down a Patriot League championship. What's this last year been like uh, for you guys uh, just getting back on the court and obviously competing? It really does mean the world um, just to be able to have an opportunity to play tennis. We were in our roots, rooms for four weeks, and it was just, for me, it's just, it's so nice to just get out of the, the building and just be able to enjoy the weather uh, with my friends and just, you know, grind every day. That's what, that's, what, that's what I live for, so. You're a local guy, so when opportunities present, sure, it's a short trip home just to see some folks, maybe have a home-cooked meal and stuff like that to – to not be able to do that? Have you missed that uh, portion of it here uh, with you guys pretty much uh, restricted to the academy for, for quite some time? To be honest with you, Pete, not really. Uh, I tried to stay away from uh, home as much as possible this semester. I was trying to really focus on my academics and my athletics and just, you know, forging those bonds inside the hall. That was something that I wanted to do. So, I, I, you know, maybe I miss that now, but I, I, I'm, I don't regret it. So. Has it, has it challenged you in ways that you did not think that you would be challenged? And, and how do you feel like you've dealt with the adversity uh, individually, uh, you know, as a student athlete there? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I think uh, there was a wall on Dewey Field, by one, the practice uh, soccer courts, and I was just able to go out during the ROM and hit against the wall with, like, a broken racket and a broken ball. But um, I just kind of tried to look at it with uh, – it is what it is. Uh, standpoint you know I'm alive I'm well I got a roof over my head food it's not so bad so is that easier said than done certainly when you obviously seen you know other folks around the academy there maybe even struggling with it a little bit yeah it is that's why I have to lie to myself to be able to to kind of have that that mentality just uh try and give myself an edge any way I can how did you all pull this off coming off of that four week period that you mentioned? How, how did you all do this? Uh, we got pretty lucky. I'll be honest. Uh, they, they were fresh out of the gates against the, with the Loyola. They played very well. And then we were able to play Lehigh at the last home match. We had some attendance there. And I think we kind of just rode that wave. We got, got going quickly, got some momentum in those matches and just kind of believed in ourselves and, you know, competed hard. That was it. It's an individual sport with the exception of doubles, but within a team concept, do you all feed off of each other? And is one guy wins or, you know, you guys get a doubles point somewhere along the way there. Do you all feed off of that as you're getting ready to play your match or maybe even within your matches it's going on while others are, are going on? Yeah, I think that's the most important part of college tennis is just being able to feed off of the person next to you, just kind of give him a pump, fist pump or tell him, let's go. It just gets the energy going, gives you a shot to win the match. What's it like to be able to draw a three seed, A, and then obviously have a chance to compete with a program like Oklahoma State? I mean, it means the world. Uh, I don't think we've ever had this opportunity. So this is a new moment for the Naval Academy and the tennis program. So I think we're going to try and make history and see what happens. Obviously, the, the momentum of a Patriot League championship, does that carry over here uh, as you head to NCAAs? I hope, I hope it does. Um, you know, it, I think that's in the past, though, to be honest. So it's a new challenge. We're just going to try and focus on the moment presented before us and embrace the opportunity. It's been a great job by you and your teammates. Best of luck against uh, Oklahoma State. Appreciate the time today. Thanks. Have a good one.